and in Mississippi and Ohio River Valleys for about the last two weeks. And it's been a combination of heavy rainfall and snow melt from the winter season. We've had record snowfall. From September 15th to uh, May 15th, we produce a winter forecast and we look at the probability of 4 inches of snow, 8 inches of snow, or 12 inches of snow in a 24 hour period, and at least a quarter inch of freezing rain or ice. And we do this for days 1, days 2, and days 3, about 3 days of the winter forecast. In the summertime, the person that is the winter forecaster, since we don't have any winter weather, they are the person that does our tropical forecast at ATPC. So they are the ones that coordinate with TTC before the issuance of any tropical advice. So we just give them some input. They still have the final say in exactly what happens, and we give them some input. In the summertime, we do air quality forecasts, uh, especially when you get into June and July and the air is very stagnant. There's a lot of major cities, you get a lot of pollution, so we do air quality forecasts in the summertime. We, when we have very heavy rainfall, we produce uh, areas of risk for rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance values, and we either do that in a slight, a moderate, or high risk of exceeding the values. A high risk category usually means you're going to have a lot of flooding. We also have a desk that does forecasts uh, for Alaska, and they do just pressure uh, isobaric uh, forecast, pressure systems, and frontal systems. Uh, down the road, we might begin doing precipitation forecasts. We do some other small things, but these are our, our major duties. Uh, and I have had a few people ask me about our visiting scientists program, where we bring in forecasters from uh, Mexico, the Caribbean, South America, and they come up for three or four weeks. I emailed the meteorologist in charge of that, and he's gonna, hopefully he'll get back with me before I leave tomorrow, and then I can get everyone some information. Thank you.